Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the precipitation of cadmium sulfide. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using two graduated cylinders with 100 milliliters of distilled water. I'm using cadmium chloride and I'm using sodium sulfide, my dropper and a spoon. Begin by measuring one gram of cadmium chloride. Next, measure out a gram of sodium sulfide. Now add your sodium sulfide to your second graduated cylinder of 100 milliliters of distilled water and stir that solution until it's completely aqueous. Okay, once both solutions are aqueous, you're ready to combine them in this double displacement reaction. So this is my solution here of sodium sulfide, and this is my solution here of cadmium chloride. Now when I combine them, the metal ions will trade places, and my cadmium chloride will become cadmium sulfide in this precipitation reaction. And that yellow precipitate is insoluble and forms instantly when I combine the two. Cadmium sulfide has all kinds of industrial purposes. It's used um, in solar cells, it's used in laser diodes, all kinds of amazing things are made with cadmium sulfide. Look at that. That is so beautiful. Here's another look at that precipitation reaction in the graduated cylinder. Just awesome. So what's going on in this double displacement precipitation reaction is you start out with the reactants cadmium chloride, that's the CdCl2, and your other reactant is sodium sulfide, that's the Na2S. When those are both in an aqueous solution, they combine to make the product CdS, that's cadmium sulfide, that's the insoluble yellow precipitate that you saw fall out of the solution, and sodium chloride that stays in an aqueous solution. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.